Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. I got a box in, so, and it's been kind of coming in a little at a time here and there, but I wanted to unbox it with you guys. Um, this is some more good PB Swiss stuff from the Tool Lady. So I'll have a link to her website in the description down below, as well as I have a couple other good PB Swiss videos that you might want to check out. So jump over there and do that when you finish this one. I'll try to remember to stick one in the end cards on this video. And uh, let's go ahead and see what we have in here. So obviously you get a nice little invoice from her. Her little card, which is actually really cool. Back of it, has, she has all little PB Swiss stuff on it. So get unpacked here. We have, and we mentioned this in another video. Um, I was getting a PB Swiss pick set because I keep running into all of these little O-rings and things and faucets that have to come out as well as, you know, valve seats and all that sort of thing. So here is the PB Swiss pick set. And they're a uh, blue handle and very vanilla. That's one really cool thing. They do these acetate handles. And when they do them, apparently acetate can have a really strong smell. So PB Swiss puts vanilla in the actual process. So you end up with tool handles that smell like vanilla. So if you hate vanilla, that might be something to be aware of, but I like it. So these have knurling right here on the pick. If you can see that, let's see if I can get it to get it for you. You see the knurling right through here. So you can get that with your finger. If you need to rotate it, you've got a really good grip there, as well as, you know, these have good bolsters on them we can grab. But just a neat, really fine pick set here. You have a straight pick. You have a kind of a around the corner kind of a pick there. It does a nice little hook. I think that one for getting down in and pulling a valve thing out, you don't have to fight, you know, like if you have a normal right angle pick here, which I'm gonna show you that, that's like a right angle style pick. You don't have the issue here with interfering with the back edge here, trying to get hooked on something here. When you're in there with this one, you can go straight in and then you just have this little tiny notch over there that is is really great. Then of course kind of a normal pick style right there. Just a little Z tip kind of a deal and a hook like that. So really nice little set. Five picks. Pick these up on her Black Friday sale. So man she does some good sales for that stuff. I believe 25% off or something like that. So Really had to take advantage of those, especially on these PB Swiss orders. They, you know, they're a real, a really bargain tool, right? So, anyway, nice little set there. That's the little kit that you get and all the tips that are in there. And these are going to go into my Vera bag, my new Vera bag, to use on all the hotel stuff and, you know, the faucet repairs, things like that. So, in keeping with generally boring types of tools, this is a punch set. I went ahead and I had ordered the multicolor punch set from PB Swiss, but they're back ordered, so I'm still waiting on those. And then with the sale, I figured, you know, let's go ahead and get a really nice set in one of their toolbox deals. So, that's what I did. And this set here, yeah, if I can figure out how to open my stuff, this set here looks like this and you have a handle similar to what's on their screwdrivers has a nice nice grip to it to hold on to and they're a through strike so you can hit them here on the top they're finished in nicely beveled so you're not going to be mushrooming that really fast or anything nice nice punches with that softer grip it should be a lot nicer for hitting these driving things through because you don't gonna have all the vibration in your hand or everything of just using metal punches like I always have. Really, really nice little set. But uh, in here, oh, let's see. I don't think it'll even list on here what sizes these are. This is the 758 set. And it it's just got all six that they have. So you have a really nice selection of punches. So anyway, those are going into these. I don't know that they'll stay in this because I really need them split up into my bags. They go nicely in the veto bags and everything, but be a nice case for when they're all at the shop. And uh, now here is what we all kind of like to keep buying from places. And isn't it nice to see these good deals on the made in Switzerland? So 
I finally got some regular PB Swiss drivers. And these are the multicolor versions. <clears throat> They come with the little wall rack. You know how Vera always gives you a wall rack. But uh, these are these are probably just a little bit nicer than that. They come with mounting screws for them and everything. So you can go ahead and put that up if you're into racks in your shop. These are going in my bags, as you know. So this set is the Phillips driver set, as that's most of what I use. This is a Phillips number 3 by 150. And they just have some some fairly beefy tips on these things. So that's the number three. This should be a Phillips number two in the orange, and they're very clearly labeled out here right on the tops of the drivers as to what exactly they are. So very nice in a bag. You can see right on the top. And we have the issue some of the special edition Vera drivers, is the number one, uh, don't have anything on the top where they have a star or something on all of them and you can't tell. So these are just really nice, the hardened tips. There's no laser etching or anything like that, like Vera's putting on some of their newer stuff. So I'm curious if I'll even be able to tell the difference. I know on the little flatheads, they, it just seems to me like on the four millimeter flathead is one of my favorites from Vera. I really like it with the laser etching, but we'll see. So these don't, but they're hardened tips. This is Phillips number two by a hundred millimeter. Phillips number one is 80 millimeter, and then you also get the Phillips zero at a 60 millimeter here in almost like a turquoise kind of a handle, which you can see. They're all labeled so clearly on the top. Let's see if we can get them all together there for you. They're all labeled so nice and clearly on the top that you can really see what you have. So really like that. The holder, if you're into that sort of thing, these actually almost snap into place so you can turn I mean you can turn this upside down and they should fall out right there and and they don't so really really nice holder if you like holders you know I think it's a little more solid than the Vera versions if I actually snap them in there hear that click when they actually go in place but there's your whole set right there and yeah you can turn that holder upside down and it'll hold just fine so they snap in really good but that's the that's the Phillips set and then what are Phillips if you don't buy the flathead set right so we got the flathead multi driver set in here as well and they come just like this which is very similar to how Vera does inside their fancy packaging usually your screwdrivers are in a white cardboard box just in there so that's pretty similar just without all the extra you know colorful outside and everything so another nice rack, just like the other one with the snap-in. And this will be a 10 by 1.6 by 180 millimeter. So you start with, you know, I really wanted this one. This is a massive driver. Now with the flathead drivers here, you have a little bit different thing. And just to know, there are six of these where there were just four in the Phillips set. There are six drivers in the flathead set. And the tips of these are where it's at. Look at look at how, see if you can see that. I'll put something up here behind it. Look at how that tip has a step to it. Right here, the tip goes, you know, a normal driver, they just taper all the way to the tip. So it's like, it's like a V coming down like this. On the PB Swiss, you have the V coming down until you start into the hardened, and then it is a straight-sided deal. So you actually have a straight tip on your driver to fit into a screw because screws don't come with a V notch for your screwdriver. They're straight, right? The slots are straight cut in. So these are made to fit straight in without doing any, you know, pressing open a screw or anything like that. And that is true for, I believe, all of these except, well, they go down to the number one and the number two which they're labeled with ones and twos on the blades, but that's actually a four millimeter by 100. So this would be, this light green one here would be the equivalent of my favorite Vera version. So we're gonna see how they compare. But real nice fitting handles, uh, just a little different than the Vera. You know, if you're used to the normal screwdriver style handle, that's more what this is. It's not the, you know, big center and you know, you know what I, well, there's one right here. So you can kind of see the differences in the handles. There's a Vera handle versus a PB Swiss handle right here. So 
Just depends on what grip you like in your hand. I, they both grip really well. The tops of these all labeled beautifully, just like the other set of Phillips. So when you have all of these, I mean, it's it's a very nicely labeled amount of things to be sticking out of your bag. So these are going to find a home in a Vera tool quiver pretty much immediately for me. But the little step down notch on these is actually on every single driver in here, all the way down to the smallest one. And you probably can't even see that, but that is, there's the step on that. And that to me is kind of just an extra little touch. I'm really curious how much difference it'll make if I actually get to using it and be able to tell if it's gripping into screws with doing less damage to the heads of them. I would think that would be, you know, kind of a main benefit of that. When you're going into the, the flathead screws, especially, there's a couple flatheads right here in a bag. If you're fitting your driver up to this, to get the right size would help. You can kind of you can kind of see these will just go absolutely straight into that into that screw without the V locking deal going in and pressing the head out a little. So I'm curious if it makes a big difference because I've never had a screwdriver that had that type of a tip on the flathead. So anyway, I just thought you guys might want to see what I got from PB Swiss this month. Kind of another neat little order. I have a lot more coming once it finally comes into stock. It'll be exciting. Got some KC Tool uh, orders coming up as well. But uh, really neat drivers. I've been wanting to try these for quite a while, and it's taken me quite a while to get them. The pick set was much needed. Just good tools that I've actually got a use for right now on the job site. Thank you all for being here. Catch you on the next one.